Uh, thank you, um, Yvonne. If you look back on the history, in 20 years back, we used to see the capitalist power and the socialist power, which is headed by the American and the Russians. And but somehow, the socialist power was empowered by the capitalists. Can we say that now what's happening now is the Islam become a replacement of the socialist power? I think that um, America is the type of country that has to have some sort of enemy. And I was looking into America's history for a paper I was writing a few weeks ago. And America has been at war either internally or internationally every single year since its inception with the exception of 1892. Now, I don't know what happened in 1892, other than that was the year my favorite soccer team, Newcastle United, was formed. But America is a warry nation, and it has to have an enemy. At first, it was the indigenous population, the real Americans, the Indians. Then it started on the Mexicans. Then it went land grabbing round California. Then it got involved in the Civil War and it has continued. And for the last 50 years, it has been at war every single year, bombing more than 20 different countries. This is not a peaceful nation. It has to have an enemy. Communism has gone and it has been, I feel, replaced by Islam. Islam is an easy target for the um, American administration and it's very easy to whip up hysteria and hate against the Muslim community. And we really have to stick together and be united on this. And I'm not just talking to the Muslims, I'm talking to everybody because once America has finished with the Muslims, it could turn on anybody next. You know, it could be you. So, you know, these are, are very dangerous days. And that's why I would urge you to be very careful when you see big scare headlines demonizing the Muslim community.